Welcome to this video on refraction through lenses. So in this video we're going to talk about convex lens. So as you can see these are the different types of convex lens we have. Um, and usually this convex lens is, um, is, is drawn like this. Uh, you know that's, that's how it looks when you keep these one of these lenses uh, vertically. Um, and that's how you would keep it to, to use it. Um, now how is this construction done? Uh, what, what we do is we, we basically cut it off of, of a larger sphere. So you have, you have this uh, sphere one and then you have the sphere two. So these, these lenses are, are, are made from these two spheres which intersect with each other uh, over here and then you cut them off. And, and you grind these uh, faces. And now these two imaginary spheres, they have uh, two centers, so let's call them as uh, um, C2 and C1. Uh, you may be wondering why I call this C1. The only reason is because, you know, this, as far as when light is entering, this is the first surface, and that's why I call this C1, right? So these are two centers and there's a line that connects these two centers. And this line is usually called the, the principal, prin, sorry, principal axis. And now, depending upon where these spheres meet, these height may vary. So you can, you can imagine that I can, have, I can have two spheres meet like this. So this is this is a large uh, intersection, or I could I could have these two spheres meet like this as well. Uh, now this is much smaller intersection. Now this length is called the aperture. So this this is what we call as aperture. Now in most of these lenses, these apertures are very small. So we usually uh, study. Uh, small aperture lens. That means that these, these won't be very thick, this would be very, very thin. So we say small aperture lens or we say thin lens. All right? So we have, uh, we have looked into center of curvature, we have looked into principal axis, and this point O is called the optical center. So this is the optical center. So these are the terminologies that you should know uh, uh, for a convex lens or you know, for even, con even the other type of lenses. So now let's deep dive into, uh, into convex lens, you know, how it works and its properties. So here is a convex lens uh, where you can see that there are, there are rays that are, uh, you know, that are coming out of the ray box. We call this as this as a ray box. This can generate the rays. So you can see that these rays are entering this lens, and we see these rays, rays converge at the center, right? And this center point is called the focal point, and uh, and you will see that you know for all these convex lens, they have a particular focal point. Uh, for the rays parallel that enters parallel, they meet at a point, and that point is a focal point. And, and, the, and the length from here to here is what we call as a focal length. In this particular case, this length is the focal length, the focal length is 10.5 centimeters. Now let's look at another convex lens. So here is another lens, and you can see that in this lens, the focal length is approximately 17.5 centimeters. Um, now let's look at let's look at another lens, uh, which is a little greater in focal length. So here you see the focal length is approximately 50 centimeters. 
so if you observe these three lenses uh, if you keep them side by side and if you observe them you will find that the thicker ones have the smaller focal length so this is 10 centimeters this is 17.5 centimeters and the thinnest one is a 50 centimeters and all of them pretty much have a small aperture that's you know this aperture is um, is uh, is pretty pretty small all right so so this is uh, this is about convex lens so let's summarize so this is the principal axis of a convex lens so principal axis this is our optical center and when a ray of light enters this convex lens uh, convex lens we see that they they converge at a point and that point is what we call as the principle, the focus. Uh, now, this focus is actually a short form for our what we call as principal focus, and and we'll shortly see why we call this as the principal focus. Or so principal is the other meaning for principal is the main. So this is what we call as a main focus. Um, so we will we will we will see why do we say that this is a main focus, right? in a while now this is our focal length right? this is our focal length and we also saw that the ray through this through the principal axis it, it pretty much went undeviated right um, it, you know that's because it went through the optical center so that's what we saw now let's see one more concept called the focal plane now in this video you can see that uh, the parallel rays are entering at an angle into the lens but still they they meet at uh, at, a, at a same length which is which is approximately in this case uh, this is uh, this is about 18.5 centimeters in this uh, so you can see that the parallel rays are always meeting at the same point so this toothpick or this wooden stick that you see um, this is what we call as uh, the focal plane so here this is meeting in the stick and you could imagine that uh, the stick could could be a you know there could be a plane which is uh, which is you know cutting inside your monitor through the stick and, and any ray that enters this lens uh, at an angle but parallel to each other they will always meet at that plane right so so that's the idea of the focal plane so, so let's draw it and, and 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 show the idea of the focal plane so in this in this picture we have we have rays that that would be entering at an angle but but parallel to each other and they would meet all of them they would meet at at this plane which is uh, which is a line but really you know it's you can imagine that it's a plane which is perpendicular into your monitor right so so it meets there so this is a this is called the focal plane focal plane is where all the parallel rays uh, meet as they as they pass through the convex lens all right now to end this video let's let's finally understand this big confusion in in a in a convex lens what what is the principal focus and primary and secondary focus so for this let's let's uh, look at a look at the picture of our image formation now here you see that you know these rays can come parallel and they meet at at this point right and this point is what we call as the principal focus and we denote it by F but you can you can have the rays coming from from this side as well right so let's let's change the color here uh, let's let's give it a red color so these rays could be entering these lens like this as well right and they would meet on this side at at a particular length 
So we see that there are, there are two focal points really for a lens and it entirely depends on how you position your lens. Now, when you position this lens like this, you know, um, the way it is positioned, we say that this focus is actually your F1 and this focus uh, is your F2, which is, uh, which is, this is your F2. So this is co also called the secondary focus. So secondary focus is when rays are coming in from the left side, which is the usual convention. Um, and the primary focus is when the rays are coming from the right side, the parallel rays, and where they meet. Um, that is called your primary focus. So let's, uh, let's change the color. So this is primary focus. And usually your secondary focus is synonymous to uh, the principal focus. So always we say uh, your secondary focus is your principal focus. So let's put this into, uh, into a diagram. So if you have rays entering from the left side, the place where they meet is called your F2. This is also called F which, which, is, which is your principal focus. And this is secondary focus, right? And if you have a ray which is, uh, which is coming in like this, and they meet at the other side, this is called your primary focus, primary. Usually we don't worry much about the primary focus uh, because we always keep our object on the left and that we see in the next video and we try to get the image on the right. So, uh, so we, you know, and in these kind of lenses, uh, usually we call it as equi-convex lens where, you know, the both the circle have the same uh, radius uh, sorry here the second one looks bigger so in such type of lenses your usually your f1 is equal to f2 so it does not really matter uh, how you keep these lenses all right so that um, that sums up uh, this video i hope uh, you will be able to able to reflect upon your learning goals and 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 try to recap you know whatever you have learned uh, you know all these points uh, once try to recap it by drawing it in your notebook and trying to reflect if you really got it if not i would urge you to go back to this video and see this again until uh, you achieved your learning goals see you in the next one